There's a big distinction between what Rodriguez is alleged to have done and what some of the other players have done. And remember, baseball has been uh, living with this problem for a number of years since right. the Mitchell report and you know they had a big black eye on their face and now they're taking strict action. Well, let me pick up on what you just said. What Rodriguez did was so much worse allegedly than the other players is he wasn't just using drugs for years. He was tampering with evidence trying to buy incriminating documents uh, and and intimidating witnesses right. Yes, obstructing the investigation, um, cooperating uh, with that fellow Galea who is on two federal charges. Isn't that worse than what Pete Rose did and he got a lifetime ban? You, it, it is worse if you look at it. I mean, look, there are the constant denials. This has been going on for more than a decade, right? In 2007, he went on national television and, and he told Katie Couric that he never took PEDs. Right. Then two years later, he admits taking them earlier in his career when he was younger and naive, more naive. He said in 2001, 2003, I took them, but n not, nothing since. But it's the obstruction and the tampering that has outraged the commissioner, Bud Selig. Yes, it's the pattern of behavior to consider himself right. allegedly above the rules, above the law. And what Pete Rose did, as you mentioned, that was a personal thing. It right. could have been some, some addiction. Gambling, and he still claims that he didn't bet against the Reds, which is a huge difference. Right. But, but let me ask you, as I read uh, Article 11 of the Collective Bargaining Agreement, Commissioner Bug Selig has unfettered discretion to ban Alex Rodriguez for life. Yes, very broad powers. And some are saying that he may not invoke that, though, under the circumstances, may try to uh, work with the union to find a resolution here. But uh, there's no love lost here between the parties. You know, a lot has been written that if A Rod does try to challenge this and go to arbitration, uh, that might so provoke the commissioner that he will invoke the lifetime ban. And he could do it that way, right? He could. He has the right to do it. Whether he will use that strong power remains to be What's seen. What's the point of going to the arbitrator, Fred Horowitz? Because as I read it, he cannot stay the suspension of A-Rod. He cannot overturn it. Is that true? Well. In, in the past, arbitrators have had a history of reducing uh, suspensions. Uh, remember Steve Howe, the Yankees yeah. pitcher, went from a lifetime ban to just over 100 games. Um, in this case, though, what we're hearing is the evidence is so overwhelming right. that, that at best he might just buy himself a few weeks, A-Rod. You know, a lot of players have turned against A-Rod, abandoned their support of him because he's so disgraced and his conduct was regarded as so egregious would that influence the Players Association to refuse to back A-Rod in challenging Selig? That's an excellent point because you have all of these players now, more recent players, who've been playing by the rules. And, you know, one of the, the California Angels, the Los Angeles Angels pitchers, came out the other day and said, look, you know, his taking steroids or PEDs not only inflated his own statistics, it affected our salaries, our own arbitration cases when we went to salary arbitration. So, you know, how do the rest of the players feel about it? What the Yankees are saying publicly, the Yankee players, and what they're thinking or feeling right. inside might be two different things on this issue. Yeah. What would be A-Rod's best course here? I mean, we hear, and some has been written uh, from his camp, that the guy is in total denial. He doesn't get it. He doesn't understand the full risk of a lifetime ban. That some of them are trying to say, listen, A-Rod, just take the year and a half suspension, you'll still get $60 million. Is that the best course of action? Yes. Take the punishment like a man. Uh, admit what you did and, and if you did it and, and help your team. Yeah. One of his advisors is quoted as, as suggesting that, well, we'll file a federal lawsuit. But look, uh, the problem with that is the only legal monopoly in America is Major League Baseball. Supreme Court granted them an antitrust exemption. I'm not sure a federal judge would touch this. I think you're right. And he's in a tough spot because think about it. If he does take the year and a half and he comes back after 214 games, he'll be 40, two hip surgeries, and what will his career be then? So. Right. It's a very difficult situation for A-Rod, but not a lot of sympathy for him today. Well, and if he tries to litigate it in federal court, uh, you know how long that takes. Uh, he'd be in a nursing home by the time a decision <laughs> is rendered. Dominic uh, Romano, a sports attorney, good to see you. Thanks for being with us. Great to be here. All right.